Today, on the front page of the sad tabloid, it reads, and I quote, Kate Outdoors. Now, when you see that, you think that Kate has been seen. You think that finally, the picture or a video that confirms that Kate is alive. You are wrong. You are mistaken. Kate has not been seen. In fact, there is no picture, no video, proving or confirming that Kate has been seen out at a farm with William like what the front page of the sad tablet is claiming. And clearly, the palace wants all these web rumors to end. And no wonder, on the front page of the Sun Tablet, it also reads that this first public trip ends web rumors. My family, it does not. There is no video, no picture of Kim Milton. And because we don't have that, this, what the royal family is doing, is trying to manipulate the public. And William should know we are not fools. And that is not the only thing that has happened. My family, William, has sent his carnival of so-called expert, Royal Nika, to go on Good Morning Britain and say that he and Kim Wilson are being hounded. My family, I want you to hear this yourself. Because I feel disgusted by Prince William's actions. William does not know what it means or feels like to be hounded. The only thing that people are asking is where is Kim Wilson? Show us a video confirming that she's alive. That's the only thing people are asking. And not just that, they want a real video, a real photo of Kim Wilson, not the fake ones that the pilots are releasing. No, they want a real video. And William, instead of putting all these rumors to bed by just releasing a video, of Kim Moulton. Or removing Kim Moulton from where William has been has been hiding her. Or keeping her locked up. My family, who knows? Maybe that's what William has done. One thing we do know is that Prince William has got something to do with Kate's disappearance. And not just that. There's also something else. Prince William is sending his minion, Ranika, who normally gets briefings from Kesto Palace, meaning William, to go out there and see that he feels that he and Kate are being hounded. William, you don't know the meaning of being hounded. You don't know the meaning of being hounded. My family, please kindly hear this yourself, my family. What's going on on Good Morning Britain, whereby Roya Nika has been dispatched by William to say, you're being hounded like my mother was. You're being hounded like my mother was. William doesn't know the meaning of being hounded. My family, look at this, please. What does William make of the coverage? There's a phrase, I think, in your piece, media madness. Does he think it's all just got out of control? I mean, even this morning when we were discussing the appearance at the farm shop, but no photographs, people, you know, putting on pictures or it never happened. How much of that seeps through and how much do they just think, it, honestly, people are always going to go slightly bonkers on social media? They are fully sanguine about that. I think they know, you know, social media has a life of its own. I think for him, as I sort of tried to explain in my piece, Having seen his mother go through quite a lot of that, the hounding of his mother, I think he feels he's seeing sort of elements of that being repeated again in terms of sort of the demands and screeches at his wife over her medical privacy, and that's hurting him. He sees that direct comparison. 
My family, wait, wait. William is comparing him being asked questions about his wife's disappearance to the hounding of his mother? Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. And you know one thing that I find so, so utterly hypocritical is that whenever Harry goes on record to say, I will always protect my family, always, Harry is accused of whinging. I am told to keep quiet. When Harry compares the hounding of himself and Megan to what happened to his mother, I mean, you all remember what happened in New York, my family, where Harry and Megan were pursued by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi paid for by the UK tablet press, Daily Mail, Daily Express, and the others. We all remember what happened and confirmed by my family, NYPD, the New York Police Department, that indeed Harry and Meghan were chased and that they have evidence to even arrest two paparazzi, you know, my family members. Because they were reckless in what they were doing. They were reckless when they chased after Harry and Meghan. But they were reckless because they were offered so much money by the UK tabloid media. I remember how the tabloids were the first ones to call Harry and Meghan liars. They said they were lying. They said, don't compare this to what happened to your mother, Harry. Don't compare this to what happened to your mother, Harry. That's what they said. And then, just recently, it became fully confirmed by the NYPD that indeed Harry and Meghan were chased. And not only that, whenever Harry and Meghan are in New York, from now on, it has been decided by the New York Police Department that Harry and Meghan will receive security, extra security, to keep them safe whenever they are in New York from now on. And that's why when Harry and Meghan were in New York on World Mental Health Day, they received adequate police security when they were in New York. My family, now that you can compare to the hounding of Diana. But people are simply asking, with Kim Milton, where is she? Where is she? You can compare that to Diana, to what happened to Diana. Kate has been overwhelmingly protected by the media and by the farm. My family, you have seen how the media can trace high movements to the airport, to the airport, my family, to the airport in the U.S., but they can't be able to get a photograph of Kim Milton. UK Media can't get a photo of Harry leaving Heathrow Airport, my family, but they can't get a photograph of Kim Milton in the UK. They cannot. Kate is protected, and that is a fact. That is the reality. So never hear Roy Anika comparing, saying that William is comparing what's going on right now to the hounding of his mother. William, you don't know the meaning of hounding because all your life you have been coddled, protected by the palace. You don't know what it means to be hounded. How do you make her know that? You, William, you don't know that. You don't know what it means to be hounded. Harry and Meghan are bullied, abused on a daily basis, even when they aren't seen. Still, negative, hateful articles are written about Harry and Meghan. That's hounding. William, you don't know what hounding means. I would advise Miss William, I would advise William to go and read a dictionary, an Oxford dictionary. You know? And look up the meaning of hounding. Look that up. Because he doesn't know what it means.
to be hounded. William does not know that. Harry and Meghan, they know what it means to be hounded. William, who's the heir, who's always been protected, doesn't know the meaning of being hounded. So I feel like vomiting when I see and hear Royanika saying that William, who she speaks on his behalf, basically my family, feels that he and Kate are being hounded. The only thing that people are asking for is just video evidence to prove and confirm Kate is alive. That's all. That ends all the speculation, the rumors. It ends everything. But William can't even release any photo or video of Kim Morton alive and well. He can't. He can't. And that sends a message. That tells you a story. Does something serious happen? And William has something to do with this. And he's the one who is protecting himself. Because he knows that Kate's disappearance has something to do with him. And right now, he is using his minions, Royanika. My family is the same person who on an ex-profile has a picture of Prince Harry, my family, Royanika. You know, she's the one who has a picture of uh, Prince Harry on her ex-account, my family. William is using Royanika to say that, you know, I feel like you're being hounded. This reminds me of what happened to my mother. And guess who's the one who's talking? Prince William. Not Kay Morton, who people are asking for. Who people want to know if she's okay. Or if my family, something serious happened to her. And the royal family are trying to cover up. People just want to know the truth. And William, who is a known liar, who's lied so much about Meghan, about Harry, Try to turn Harry against Meghan using lies. By lying about Meghan, trying to turn Harry against Meghan. When he failed, he physically assaulted Harry. This person, William, is someone who is not to be trusted, who is a known liar. And now the liar is afraid of the truth being exposed. And because of his fear, of the truth being exposed. He's like. Right now I feel we're being hounded. Like what happened to my mother. William. You don't know the meaning of hounding. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You know. My family. I mean just kindly. Please. Keep on hearing this my family. Please. And screeches at his wife. Over her medical privacy. And that's hurting him. He sees that direct comparison. Uh, he definitely does. Yeah. That, so he'll be very sensitive about that. He always has been, ever since he was a child and ever since he's been with Catherine since university. We were, what is William? My family, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I cannot believe this. When Harry says he's concerned about his wife, Meghan's welfare, he's told, stop whinging. He's told, keep quiet, Harry. Don't say anything, Harry. Keep quiet. Don't say anything. Keep quiet. You're being controlled, Harry. That's what Harry is told. He's accused of whinging whenever he says, I'm concerned about my wife. Whenever he openly speaks up about his experiences in the royal family, he's told, keep quiet. Stop whinging. My family. Whenever Harry says, I don't want a repeat of history. You know? Like what happened to my mother? I don't want to raise Archie and Lily on my own. When Harry says that, he's accused of whinging. He's told, keep quiet. Megan is not Diana. That's what Harry is told. But now William, all because he's asked, where's Kim Mutton? It's like, I'm being hounded like my mother. And the media like, you know, is this like Diana? They're trying to compare 
people asking questions about Wesley Moulton to my family, the hounding of Diana. My family, I will not stand for it. I will not stand for this, my family. I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not even one bit. My family, I will not. We must expose the hypocrisy of the farm and their lies. And that's what I will continue doing. And also, I want you to see, Prince William, what happens when you ask him, where is K. Moulton? I want you to hear this yourself because my family, apparently, this is hounding. Just hear this. Please, kindly, hear this, please. How's Catherine? Hello. 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 Hear this. How's Catherine? How's Catherine? Look at that. He runs away. He runs away when asked a simple question. William, how's Catherine? Look at him. Apparently, that's hounding. William feels he's been hounded like his mother. Because he's asked a question. How's Catherine? And he can't answer. Apparently, those questions about where's K. Moulton, how is she? William feels like he's being hounded. He's being hounded. Look at how he runs. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Apparently, that's hounding. That's hounding. Asking William how his wife is, how's Catherine is... William feeling like he's being hounded like his mother. My family, you've seen that yourself. You've seen that yourself. That's the only thing people are asking. Where is she? Is she okay? Is she alive? The only thing that people are asking. And people want to know. But yet, every single time, the royal family keep on lying. You know? A few days ago, that photo, of Kay Moulton with the kids released on Mother's Day was proved to be a fake. Was proved to be a fake. A fake doctored photo of Kay and the kids. And then days later, the royal family released one other photo of William with a car with a woman who claimed was Kay Moulton, but no one could be able to identify who that person was. Today, <laughs> Today, they are claiming that Kate has been seen at a farm with William. There's no photo. There's no video. There's nothing, no evidence to confirm that Kate was even seen. I mean, let me even read you, my family, what has been said about the so-called, you know, Kate's appearance, so-called appearance, my family. Let me read you this, please, my family. You know, Kate outdoors. Happy and healthy Kate sported out and about for first time since surgery as she visits farm shop with Wills. My family, there's no photo of Kim Moulton, as I've said, with William. No photo. They are using old photos. And they're saying that Kate and William spent the morning watching kids George, Lewis, and Charlotte take part in sports. And Kate took her first steps towards the return to official engagements with a trip to her favorite farm shop. And that all Lucas have said, she, Kate, looked happy, relaxed, and healthy on the visit a mile from a Ally Cottage home in Windsor on Saturday. And apparently, the onlookers did not think to grab their phones and take a photo of Kay Moulton. Of course. Of course, my family, they did not think to do that. Of course, they did not think to do that. You know? And they're using photos taken last year of Kay Moulton. Not even this year, last year of Kay Moulton. And Kate has been missing. 
Ever since the end of December, Kate hasn't been seen. Ever since the end of December, Kate has not been seen even one bit. My family, they are saying that Kate and William spent the morning watching kids George, Lewis, and Charlotte take part in sports. And the sight is come amid wild gossip about Kate's health and about which left the whole couple devastated. <laughs> tell you this when it comes to Prince William if he ever endures a fraction just even just a little criticism even being asked where's Kim Moten it is too much for him he has never experienced anything like this just being asked a question where is Kim Moten how is she even that is too much for Prince William I always say if my family the shoe was on William's foot. And that William was the one being hounded, harassed on a daily basis. This guy, William, will never ever be able to handle a fraction of what Harry has had to deal with. He can't because he can't. He can't. You know, my family, when you have someone, in this case, an entire institution family, Plus Wikimedia, keeping you safe, protecting you. You feel untouchable because indeed you are untouchable. And that's how William has felt all of his life. That's how William has felt his entire life. He does not know what it means to be held accountable for anything. He doesn't know. That's why even asking him a simple question, how is your William? How is your wife William is too much for him. He can't answer it, my family. He can't. He can't. Because he knows he is the reason why Kate is even missing. And the guy is afraid of being held accountable for his actions. My family. You know? And the more UK media try to cover up for Prince William, the more they end up ruining Prince William. The more William becomes a very, very bad, bad person. My family. Apparently, a witness at the farm shop in Windsor said that out of the rumors that had been going around, I was stunned to see them there. My family. That's what is uh, being said. <laughs> and these witnesses don't have names. And uh, also, there's no picture of Kate or of William or of the kids. Not a single picture. My family, you know. Wikimedia could even get a photograph of Prince Philip leaving a hospital. But they have never been able to get a photograph of Kimbleton for all these months. Even now, they're saying Kate was seen, yet no photo. No video, no nothing. And the experience ought to just believe it. And take their word for it, my family. And take their word for it. My family we will not take the farm's word, my family. Because we do know the farm love to lie. They enjoy lying. They like to lie. You know? And then, my family, what's weird is that on one side, they're saying that Kate and William while watching the kids, George, Louis, and Charlotte, take part in sports. And then, my family, on the other side, they are saying also that when Kate was at a farm shop, apparently, she was shopping with Prince William. And the kids weren't with William and Kate. <laughs> My family, all this stuff is confusing. But one thing is clear here. There is no official picture of Kim Milton alongside her kids. There is not even a single photo of Kim Milton with her kids, my family. However, you can meet all of them are saying Kate has been seen. Kate has been spotted 
My family community are the propaganda arm of the royal family. They will lie on behalf of William. They will lie to cover and protect William, Charles, my family, and Camilla. That's what the community will do. They will lie to cover and protect Prince William, Charles, and Camilla. You know, and that's what they're doing right now. But one thing is clear, there is no photo of Kim Hilton. Do not be deceived. Kate is still missing. As that she hasn't been seen for months, ever since last year. That is a fact. You know, my family. Even people don't believe what the farm is right now saying. My family. Even let me read you some comments also from members of the family online. For example, someone said, here we go again. What level of desperation is this? With a picture of uh, my family, the front page of the Sun Tabloid. As they lied that Kate has been seen with not even a single photograph of Kate Moulton. My family. Someone else said this, that good news everyone, Kate is okay and has been spotted outdoors. But you know what? Just you know the fact. They've used an old stock photo from six months ago. Nothing to see here. They think we are dumb people. That's how William thinks, you know, we are. William, we are not dumb people. We are smart people. What did you do to Kate William? What? What did you do to Kate Milton William? What did you do? You know? And my family... Someone else said that, you know, Kate has been seen at a farm with William, according to the Sun Tablet. But clearly, they're using a picture from September last year on their front page. Do they think you're fools? That's what they think. My family, we are not fools. We are not fools, you know? And also, I want you a video of what Harry himself said about keeping Megan safe, my family. You know, my family, can you please hear what Harry said? And Harry was mocked for saying this, my family. Please kindly hear what Harry said years ago. My family, about what community are doing to Megan, the hell they are putting Megan through. My family, please kindly hear this. Taught me a certain set of values of which I will always try and uphold, um, despite the, the role and the job um, that sometimes that entails, if you know what I mean. But I think I will always, I will always protect my family, and now I have a family to protect. Um, so everything that everything that she went through and what happened to her is incredibly raw every single day, and that's not me being paranoid. That's just me not wanting a repeat of, of the past um, and if anybody else knew what I knew be it be a father, be it a husband, be it anyone you'd, do, you'd probably do, be doing exactly what, I, what, what I'm doing as well yeah, my, mom... my family, you've heard what Harry said my family, you know Harry said he will always protect his family now that he has a family, his own family to protect and that everything his mom went through and what happened to his mother is incredibly raw. You know? And Harry said he doesn't want a repeat of history. My family, that's the voice of a man whose wife has actually been hounded. Who was actually hounded on a daily basis. The voice of Prince Harry, who you've seen, my family, what he said years ago. And sadly, that hounding continues to this day. And he's been hounded by the media, who are receiving their orders from the farm, from Prince William, from Charles, from Camilla. My family, you know? Now, that's a man who has been hounded. My family, who's watched his wife be hounded, stalked, abused, bullied, 
on a daily basis. That's Prince Harry. William, people asking you a question, where's Kim Wilson? How is she? That is not being hounded. The only reason you are saying that is because you know you are to blame for case disappearance. And William, yes, UK media, clearly are still trying to protect you. Clearly, they're still trying to cover, to cover for you and keep you safe. William, that will one day end. That will one day end. That will one day end. And you will become fully exposed to the entire world. You know? And even right now, William, you have been exposed. Very, very terribly. You have been exposed. And you'll answer for the pain you caused Harry. The pain you caused Megan. Harry and Megan lost a child. You know? Because of being harassed, bullied, hounded by the key media, by Daily Mail in particular. Which Harry blames for putting Megan through so much stress that Megan suffered a miscarriage. And don't forget, William worked with Daily Mail to try and help them in Megan's case against Daily Mail. Against the Daily Mail. Still, Megan won. Regardless of the fact that William authorized. He is on employee to issue a statement against Megan in court. To issue a statement against Megan in court. William authorized Jason North to issue a statement against Megan in court. Still, Megan won the case, regardless. But it showed you that William clearly is the man who has always been behind trying to ruin and destroy both Harry and Megan's lives. My family. So Harry and Meghan are the ones who've been hounded. William doesn't know what he feels, why it means to be hounded. He doesn't know that. He does not know that. But one day, he'll answer for the pain he's caused Harry and Meghan. One day, he'll answer for the pain he caused Harry and Meghan, who lost their child because of William's actions. One day, William will answer for the pain he's caused. One day. My family, I want to hear your opinion on... The on this, my family, new lies being spread with the royal family once again to try and manipulate the public into thinking or believing that somehow Kate has been seen. My family, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. The royal family, William, is clearly unable to release a real picture of Kate Moulton. You know, and why is that? Why is that? Because it's impossible for him to because something must have really, really happened that makes him unable to even release a photograph or a video clip of Kate Moulton. Kate is not being hounded like Diana. You know, she's not. People are asking, where is she? That's all. That's not being hounded, my family. People are asking how she is, her health. Is she okay? That's all. People want proof of life. That she's alive. That's not being hounded. My family. You know? My family. William called his own mother paranoid. You know? Let me just speak about that, my family. William called his own mother who was chased to her death paranoid. And then now he compares the treatment of his wife to, to his mother, to how his mother was treated. The same mother who William called paranoid. You tell me how that makes even sense. How, how that even makes sense, please. You know? Megan has been bullied on a daily basis. Every single day. My family and William has no problem with that. Has no issue with that. Prince Harry has been talking about the trolling, the bullying he and Megan have experienced on a daily basis from the Wiki media and even friends close to Prince William like Jeremy Clarkson and Piers Morgan. Not once has William condemned the abuse of Megan. Not once. Not once. Not once. Because he benefits from it. So William doesn't know what being hounded means. Harry and Megan know what being hounded means. And my family 
We won't let William use Diana to try and protect himself. To try and evade my family's scrutiny. We won't allow it. We won't allow it. You tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Betana and Andrew Ragland, and all of you members who are at home. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. And may God bless each and every blessed in your family. Stay tuned for next video. Love you also forever. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.